for inciting violence during recent student protests. Bangladesh has arrested more than 10,000 people in two weeks as part of a crackdown on dissent after weeks of deadly protests. The rallies ended in a police crackdown and the deaths of at least 200 people. They are determined to seek justice. It's the teachers and the students who are speaking up for those killed in what they say was one of the most brutal state crackdowns in recent years. Despite the fear of arrests and violence, they are unafraid to ask for accountability. I don't know where to seek justice and we don't know who is going to give us shelter, where the police were given, where, where, were meant to support us with their protection. They have shot the students several times and this is completely unacceptable. As internet restrictions have loosened, videos that show police brutality have shocked many. Weeks ago, the student demonstrations against government job quotas started largely peacefully. But rights groups say the state used unlawful force in an effort to quell the protests. Some 200 people, mostly students and young people, have been killed. Tens of thousands of people who are suspected of attending the protests or express their anger at the government are being rounded up. The UN has asked for a transparent investigation of these accusations. The Secretary General is concerned about reported mass arrests of thousands of young people. He is also alarmed by emerging reports about the excessive use of force by security forces and credible evidence of human rights violation. The Bangladeshi government blames the opposition parties of inciting violence. In a recent move, it has banned one party, the jamaat e islami and its associated groups, calling them, quote, militant and terrorist organizations. We can sense an invasion of a third party who got into it and started attacking the government establishment. Many of the government and the public properties, they started attacking and also killing. But this offers no consolation to many who hold the government responsible for the violence on its own people. For them, their anger and defiance is not dying down till they get justice.